How's it going everyone? It's Christina from Photo Sprouts here. Are you thinking about buying a new camera or upgrading your existing one? If so, you might consider buying a mirrorless camera, just like this Canon R5. While there are so many reasons why a mirrorless camera is preferred to a DSLR camera, you only need two reasons to go mirrorless. In this video, I'm not going to explain the differences between a mirrorless camera and a DSLR camera. Instead, I'll dive straight to the point and tell you the exact two reasons why you should go mirrorless. And I will use my most recent portrait photo shoot with Sophia as an example. Second, you might also wonder, what am I going to do with my DSLR lenses if I go mirrorless? Well, the good news is, you can buy an inexpensive adapter to connect your mirrorless camera to a DSLR lens. And I'll show you how in this video. And in fact, Canon has two mirrorless camera lineups, the EOS M and the EOS R. And you should always consider buying the EOS R. I'll also briefly explain why in the end of this video. Oh gosh, love that hair. Look at that curly, look at that. My gosh, you're so pretty. Well, we're lucky to have Sophia to be our model for this episode. Wonderful. The first reason why you should go mirrorless is you'll drastically improve your composition and exposure because you can see the real-time information on the monitor. For most close-up shots, I tend to shoot from an angle that is slightly higher than the model's eye level. This is because it can flatter the face shape. As Sophia is so much taller than I am, I have to raise my camera to do so. With a mirrorless camera, I can easily see the framing and exposure from the monitor. If I used a DSLR camera, I would definitely need to climb up a stepladder. If you ever see me shoot from a lower angle, this is because my arms were tired. I need to do more arms workout. Sometimes you might find yourself shooting from a lower angle. Say for example, in street or landscape photography, you need to shoot from a low angle in order to get the reflection. The Canon R5's flip screen allows me to see the composition from a very low angle, and this is definitely a game changer. I no longer have to lie on the ground to get photos like this. Reason number two, and this is the determinant factor to go mirrorless. Modern mirrorless cameras have the IAF, which means the camera can automatically look for the eyeball of a human or an animal subject. And even if the subject moves or the photographer moves, the focus will still be locked on the eyeball. This is truly a lifesaver because you don't have to move the focus point to the subject's eyes every time he or she moves or you change the composition. As you can see, Sophia is posing herself a lot and there are magnolia flowers on the foreground. If my camera did not have the IAF, I will have to change the focus point from time to time and this is a hassle. I think having the IAF is the most important reason that you should go mirrorless. If you're still with me, please write down one reason that you go mirrorless or you still prefer using a DSLR in the comments down below. Here's an adapter. Look for the red dot on the adapter and then connect this red dot to the red dot on the camera body. Twist to the clockwise direction for Canon and now you can connect your Canon mirrorless camera to a Canon DSLR lens. And I'm using the Canon 85mm f1.4 EF lens as an example. Look for the red dot here on the lens and the red dot here on the adapter. 
Boom, there we go. One good thing about this mount adapter is it can be used on both the EF and the EFS lenses. Now that you know why you should go mirrorless, let's look at some camera options. As mentioned earlier, Canon has two mirrorless camera lineups, the EOS M and the EOS R, and you should choose the EOS R, and this is why. EOS M was launched in 2012 and was also Canon's first mirrorless cameras, whereas the EOS R first came into the market in 2018. Therefore, the EOS M being more than 10 years old, their touch screen and the focusing system are not as fast as the EOS R system. Plus, Canon has put in a lot of resources to perfect the EOS R cameras so we can be sure that the technology is the most up to date. Second, you'll find fewer lens options for the EOS M than the EOS R cameras. The EOS M cameras use the EFM lenses, whereas the EOS R cameras use the RF and the RFS lenses. The two systems are not interchangeable, not even with an adapter. So if you want to up your photography game, you should choose the EOS R mirrorless cameras. Examples of the Canon EOS M cameras are the M50 and the M6. Canon EOS R mirrorless camera examples are the R5, R6, R7, R10, and there are two cameras coming in the market soon. They are the R8 and the R50. In my opinion, I strongly recommend someone to learn the basics of photography before buying a camera. However, learning photography is the most effective if you get to play with a camera to shoot some pictures and make sense of the exposure triangle through some hands-on practice. That's why I found a photo spreads. We provide the equipment for beginners so that they do not need to buy a camera to come to a photography class. Remember, you only need an entry-level camera to learn the basics, which only needs two hours in our in-person beginners workshop. And after that, you can buy yourself a more sophisticated camera. So do yourself a favor, come to our beginners and intermediate workshops before buying yourself a camera. And I hope you find our YouTube tutorials, in-person workshops, and the online classes useful to your photography journey. And I hope to see you again in the next episode or in our in-person classes. See you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. We are Photo Sprouts Photography Workshops in San Francisco and Palo Alto. Equipment is provided for beginners so that they don't have to buy a camera to come to a photography class.